project, Pink Castle edition of the Mobility Wad. No, I'm just kidding. The reason I put up the Pink Castles, today we're going to talk about your Pink Castles. And that's specifically your groin. We've got three new ways to kind of torture your psoas, torture your groin. <laughs> I can't help it, this is the way it goes. So here's what's going to go. Um, many of you guys re responded in the uh, favorite M wads basically saying that your uh, psoas is tight. And I want to show you another way to get into your psoas. Make it a little bit worse. Here's what we're going to do. Normally, we go ahead and tack the psoas down. I'm on an antique table here. Um, tack the psoas down and slide that leg back and forth into our table. What we're going to do today is we're going to get sideways. We're going to drop the leg off into a little bit more extension. So by bringing that leg past neutral into extension, I translate and get a lot more loading. So what you're going to do is take your trusty pain ball, some kind of torture device. This is my mom's 20-pound fun kettlebell. Load up that psoas oh, in a painful spot. Find something that feels ugly. Maybe when you're kind of attaching up the high ribs here, and then I want you to drop that leg off the table, and you're going to find that, oh, it's really bad in a new way. So that's homework number one. I want you to get two or three minutes each side on this thing and just hang out back and forth, trying to change those tissues until everything kind of goes away. And what you'll know is that once the tissue starts to chill, literally it feels like nothing. That's how you know. So we want to treat until we make change, okay? Stay on that thing until you make change. That's how you know it's working. Point number two, corner of your couch, a little reverse ballerina, right? The Chris Spieler. I'm going to open up, belly is tight. This is putting my leg into a little internal rotation, and then I'm just going to turn away, and it's going to capture some of this kind of medial hamstring piece. If you press your hip forward or pull down, it will change the nature and feeling of that. So go ahead and explore that for yourself, and find out your tight bits. Squeeze your butt, belly tight, turn away. Keep turning away, you'll find those pieces. Ah, undo that neural tension. Gotta do that. Last piece. Whew. This is gnarly. Got a little piece of wood here since we're at my, my parents' mountain home. What I'm gonna do is sit up, high platform, a little gives me a little leverage. Allows me to keep my back straight. You certainly can do this on the ground. Turn the quads out on. Fold forward and just lean, isometric. You can do those other two as kind of prep. This is finished. Don't do this before you exercise. And we're just going to camp out for three or four minutes until I start making change. You can certainly do it on the ground here if you have enough flexibility. But most of you will find that you're going to violate that two-hand rule and collapse. That doesn't do me any good. I want to use the full leverage. Quads on, turn the hips out, and hang out. And right here, I just want to be light hands, keeping the flex on, isometric shutdown. I'm not going to contract, relax. I'm going to stay on the whole time and just keep working forward. Belly's tight, fold, 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 fold. When you feel things tear and let go, you're done. All right? I'll see you guys tomorrow.